In this fifth and final lesson of the NX Realize Shape course, we'll have a quick look at how we can import and edit .obj wavefront geometry and use them as they were NX subdivision models. This format may be somewhat unknown for most CAD engineers, but the OBJ format is considered a standard geometry exchange format for Polygon CAD systems. Now, what's important when importing an OBJ file is to avoid the fine meshes, as NX cannot handle detailed polygon models without heavily slowing down your computer. So keep in mind to use coarse meshes if you want to import OBJ files. Still, there is a built-in warning if you try to import a model containing more than 10,000 faces, so you wouldn't need to worry too much about this. So in this lesson, we'll look at how you can import OBJ files, how you can edit them, and how you can automatically separate them if your model consists of several subdivision features. First, we'll try with the model of a head. To import an OBJ file, you must have created a new empty part file, and then click File, Import, Subdivision Model. This particular model has been included with several levels of detail, where I would get a warning if I try to import the most detailed one. However, if I choose the coarse mesh, the import will proceed without any warnings. Now notice how this has been added in the part navigator as a subdivision model, which means that we actually can edit this one as a regular realized shape model. I'll also show a quick transform tip here. Let's say we want to increase the size of the nose tip of this model, and we want to effectively select surrounding nodes to follow the transform movement with a certain falloff. To achieve that, I'll first deselect the X-ray cage and the Allow Backside Selection to avoid selecting nodes at the back of his head. Then I'll open the Falloff section of the Transform tool and choose Selected. Now I use the Lasso tool, which can be chosen at the selection bar right here, to get a desired portion of the vertexes. When I now choose Select Objects at the top of the Transform tool, I can drag the node I haven't selected to fall off, and the surrounding vertexes will follow the transform movement at a certain level which you can adjust with the Fall Off Curve slider. Next, we'll look at a chair model, which consists of four subdivision models. If a model has several subdivision geometries such as this one, you can choose to separate these by unchecking the box Create Single Feature during the import. This will automatically separate the model into multiple geometries, which can be practical so you don't work with a single large subdivision cage. These geometries can, of course, further be separated into parts to get a suitable assembly structure. We do that by creating the needed amount of parts and using the tool Create New Component and include the desired geometries as defining objects. 